Hello everyone and welcome back to another resource pack development episode and in today's episode we're going to be getting into Optifine resource pack development. So as most of you guys already know Optifine is a mod that it helps you with doing stuff like zooming in but uh, also improves your your performance in game. Um, but Optifine also modifies resource packs in different ways as well including making custom item textures uh so right here we have this croissant which is actually a bread that has just been renamed so we're going to be learning how to to do these type of items um and this is going to just be the part one in our uh future development series um for, for resource packs now again guys we're going to want to open up our resource packs folder as well as our resource pack development folder so I have uh, my resource pack development folder and I'm going to want to go to the items folder. So again, you go Minecraft, textures, item, again, if you if you just don't remember. Uh, and then we're going to want to go into our resource pack inside of the resource packs area. Go to the assets, Minecraft, and inside of the Minecraft folder, you're going to want to make a new folder. So you right click, go down to new, press folder. And you're gonna to want to name it Optifine. I already have it here, so uh, just just make an Optifine folder. Uh, it used to be called MC Patcher in previous versions before 1.13, if I'm correct. But now it is called Optifine. And in here, you're gonna to want to make a folder called CIT. That count that that stands for Custom Item Texture. Uh, and in here is where we're gonna be working on creating custom items. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so right here, I already have the one for my croissant. So we have the current croissant PNG as well as this properties uh, file, which we're going to be working on. Um, so, so what you're going to end up wanting to do is you're going to want to copy a texture, whichever texture you want to, to change or add to like a, a custom name to uh, and a custom texture according with it. In this case, I did the apple and I've named it green underscore apple. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, Let's say you wanted to do fire arrow, you could do, you could copy this, add like a texture with fire at the tip of the arrow and name it fire underscore arrow. So once you've done that image, you're going to want to make a new text document and we're going to want to name it whatever the name your, your uh, texture is. So in this case, it's going to be called green underscore apple yeah, properties. So it's going to say, do you want to change it? Uh, it says that the file might be unusable and you could use it. All right. So once you have that, you're going to want to open up the green apple dot properties uh, file. And then inside of here, we're going to go over a few variables. And if I remember, I'm going to put an image at the bottom right or top right, wherever um, it's showing the different properties that we're going to be going over. So for the first one, we're going to be wanting to do uh, the type of of object that we're doing and in this case we're doing an item type um and then we're going to want to do the type of item which in this case it's going to be an apple uh now this is this is going to be calling the item texture inside of minecraft so in this case i'm doing apple if you were doing arrow then you would be doing arrow whichever one that you're modifying you just want to get the name once you've done that then you're going to want to do texture equal and then you want you're going to want to do the whatever texture you're adding so in this case i'm doing green underscore apple dot png now once you've done that you've pretty much finished exactly what you need to add in your texture now we want to say hey depending on a certain variable or certain instance then we want this texture to show up inside of the game so we're going to be dealing with nbt tags uh right now so what you want to do is you're going to want to enter again and do nbt dot in this case we're going to be going over displays and then we're going to do a dot name so what we're, we're doing is depending on the name of the texture then we want a certain texture to show up so let's say we want the thing to be called green apple now that we've done that, we should be able to go back into Minecraft and we should be able to see a green apple whenever we type in green apple for the texture. So I'm going to just grab myself an apple 
beforehand and I'm gonna already pre-name it. So I'm gonna get an anvil out. We're gonna just call it green apple. Now in this case, or my green apple, I have uh, green and apple capitalized. Uh, we're gonna want to have it capitalized as well. And I'll explain why in a little bit. So once you've done that, you're gonna wanna refresh your resource pack. Now, as you can see, we have a green apple inside of our inventory. And that doesn't overwrite the original apple. We just have two different textures now. We have the red apple and we have the green apple. Now we're just going to get some item frames. And we're just going to name this. There we go. We have our green apple. Perfect. Now, the only problem is when we do a green apple with a lowercase either in one spot as as shown right here or in both spots we don't get an actual green apple now it's just red now what we want to do is fix that and to do so we're gonna have to end, uh, uh, mess around with the nbt tags now to be able to make it so that way it's not case sensitive what we're gonna want to add before our green apple uh, name is something called an eye pattern. Now what eye pattern does is it says it's looking to see whether the name is called a green apple. So what eye pattern is doing is saying, hey, as long as the name is green apple, you could do it in whatever fashion you want. So you could do a capital A or lowercase a or whatever. And that, that it checks for that in game. So as long as we have the name green apple right here after this colon, then you should be fine. You could have a lowercase, uppercase, or whatever. So once you've refreshed the resource pack, now you could see mine that is lowercase green apple as well as the one that's uppercase green apple are both green. Now let's say we want to make it uh, so I could have green apple in here, but we want a custom name as well. So let's say we wanted, we, we wanted to name it green apple of doom for instance then we can uh we could go back inside of our texture file right here and we can add this little asterisk so what it's ch checking for is if the name green apple is anywhere within the name then you could put whatever you want afterwards so once we've added that in it saved it and then refreshed the resource pack now you can say our you can see our green apple of doom is perfectly fine and you can change it to whatever you want of happiness or whatever or of death if you wanted and there you go now you have you have your own snow white apple <laughs> uh, but yeah you you could you could do a lot uh with just eye pattern by itself all right guys so the next thing we're going to be going over is called rejects so to spell that you you do R E G E X and you're going to want to replace whatever you had before if you had pattern or i pattern then you could uh, you could just replace that to to rejects. Now rejects again this one's going to be case sensitive if you don't want it to be case sensitive just add the i before. Uh, in this case I'm just going to keep it to not case sensitive. So what we're doing is we're trying to see if there are two words that are being used right after green apple in this case so what we want to do is add these parentheses and do two and then this uh line right here i forgot what it's called but uh it's it's above the enter key it's the, the above the slash if you shift and then shift enter uh on the the key above the enter key <laughs> um then you'll get that line and you want to do two and from or at least in my case i want to do two and from and then we're going to want to say, I want a custom name right afterwards. So to do a custom name in the case of rejects, then you want to add this dot right before the asterisk. But uh, again, uh, the dot won't show up inside of the inside of the game. So what we're trying to see is as long as either the word to or from is used after the name green apple, then you can write whatever you want afterwards. Um, then we'll show the green apple texture. So we're just going to save that. And I've already refreshed the resource pack with the with the thing. So right now it says green apple. Green apple's not showing because I don't have 
two are from right afterwards but as soon as i add two space space uh, is saying that it's a custom name but let's say i wanted to do it to jace so uh, i could do a green apple to jace but if i was to do something else like love jace or dear jace then it wouldn't show up it has to either be to or from if it's neither one of those then the name the custom texture won't show up at all and that's pretty much that's pretty much it those are like the the four main things that you're going to want to learn pattern eye pattern rejects and eye rejects uh, again you're probably just going to want to use the the eye form unless you like you specifically want the the name capitalized in which you just get rid of the i and it'll be case sensitive again um but there's there's a lot more that we're going to be learning down the road but for now i feel this is going to be enough we're going to get in more into item textures as well as connected textures uh we might go over connect textures in the next episode depends on uh depends on the time i have just because connect textures is a big video uh, there's a lot there's a lot of custom textures that are gonna have to be made um and i want to make sure that i do it right i don't want to make it a bad video per se uh but either way thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel i will be uploading more uh, i've been uploading for every day for about a week and a half already and i plan to keep up the schedule for a few more weeks at the very least uh if uh if anything i might be uploading just a few times uh, a week afterwards but still i'm gonna try to keep the the content consistent thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate it bye